Burgess here with Music Marketing TV and today I'm going to show you how to in Vegas Pro 18 quickly add green screen footage to your footage and resize it and get it in place so you can get rolling really quickly. So this is what we're going to be making. It looks so a little something like this. This is a uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 and every time the assault class shoots what's called the Vanguard, it's like a shotgun. Uh, it always reminds me of a confetti cannon. So I decided to just put confetti there and make my dream a reality. So this is what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna come in from the back. Mm -hmm. To E, we're already there. Mm -hmm. My computer struggles a bit with the grenade. We're just gonna go over the first instance because once you add one, it's like the same process for all of them. And actually, once you have one keyed in, in this case, since it's a game, the gun stays in the same spot every time. So I can just leave it the way it is and uh, it'll actually work. So you see over here? Yeah. That one fires the exact same way this one did, and I, I only had to set one keyframe, so pretty handy. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start from scratch. In this case, I'm going to delete this and remove this. I'm gonna leave the sound and other stuff there because we're just looking at how to do the green screen bit. So you're gonna wanna get some confetti green screen. You can look it up on the internet, just Google confetti green screen or whatever, and you'll find tons of clips of it. And this is the one that I settled on. Let me go ahead, lose the effects for now. So this is what it looks like. Uh, we have a nice angle. So I was looking for something that had this because I wanted it to come out of a gun. And you just want something with some green in the background. Now to get rid of the green is really easy. All you do, go to the effects. And if you've never done this, it should appear right on the clip. If it's not there, you could zoom in and it will eventually appear. Because if you're too zoomed out, see how it disappears. So you're going to want to click on that. And we want to apply the effect to the clip, which is why you click click on the effects on the clip itself. You can add track effects too, uh, which is something we don't want to do for this particular thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the chroma key here. So it should be somewhere on your list. Just look for it. Vegas chroma key here. Go ahead, double click it, and you'll see it pop up here and hit OK. And now here we have to pick the color we want to key out. This will remove that color. So go ahead, click on color. Click the eyedropper tool, go over to the footage and simply select the color and boom, it's gone. Now it appears black because there's no other footage beneath it right now, uh, but that is all we need to do. It'll disappear. And now if we put it over something, we see that it appears overlaid on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to go over to where the first shot happens, which is somewhere over here running up. And then we're going to look for the frame where the gun begins to... Let's uh, move this out of the way. So the gun fires right there-ish. So we're going to go ahead, overlay this right when it begins to sort of explode. And now we need to position it. Now there's a few ways to position it. The one I favor in this case is a track effects approach. The reason I want to do it on the track is because I want it to apply to all of these. That way, if any positions needs to be changed subtly, I can just automate it as I go with keyframes and it's going to apply to all of them. So I'm not constantly having to do this for every single clip. I just do it to the one and it works for them all. So to do that, we're going to go ahead. We're going to click on this. I forgot what this is called. It's like the track oh, track motion view. And so you click this. It's going to bring up a little window that shows the uh, the clip. This essentially allows us to move this around. So we're going to go ahead and move this up to where the gun is. We're going to rotate it, uh, rotate it, click the Y here. And we want to shrink it down so you can just grab a corner and sort of just shrink it down to the correct size. Something like this. And it's very, very fast. So even though it appears over, we can even have it out a little bit so it's not quite over it. Something like that. And there you go. You're pretty much good to go. Now you could be, you could come in here. Oh, we've got a couple, a couple of things. So this looks pretty fine for, for what I want to do here. You could come in and keyframe it getting bigger and then copy the entire, all the keyframes to each one. But you'll notice that now this one fires just fine as well, even though there's no keyframe data right here. Mm. And so we might say maybe it's a bit small, so I'll come back to my first one and make it a smidgen bigger. 
put it in because we want we want it to be a party right and the other thing that i'm looking at here is it looks like there might be you see this there's a rectangle so we didn't chroma key it all out but that is an easy fix simply click on the effects and under the low threshold bring this up and you'll see it goes away so we bring it down the black shows up dial it up just enough to remove that stuff and you use your judgment and there you go to you eat. gotta set up your rocket and roll and you can do this for all kinds of things you can find like those little youtube animations that have the green screen in the background already grab those chroma key them you're good to go uh, and the other thing you're going to want to do is when you're doing this uh, you're going to want to time it right for each hit so you can actually hold control while your mouse is over the end of the clip and it gets this little squiggly line under it. And if we move it, it'll speed up and slow down the clip. There is a limit to it. You could fix this with the velocity envelope, but you're not going to need it for something for something like this. Uh, this should be way more than enough to time the clip the way you want. So that's pretty much it. You just copy it over and you just time them accordingly. So you see some of them began to overlap here. So I just simply stretched them a bit different and cut them so that they would fit with the gunshots and uh that that was it the other thing i did here was i found another clip which was more of like a, a cannon thing going off and this one required a lot more keyframing so i sat here because the uh the shots rotating as i'm doing this so i wanted it to match the explosion a little bit so it looks really corny this is sort of a joke video so it wasn't important to me that it, like matched and was color corrected and everything just something that was just kind of a a funny idea and yeah so that is how you get your green screen going if you have any questions about this feel free to let me know subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day